Sunday afternoon at the church and out here checking on my beans and everything that I've got growing and I noticed that I got cow peas. So first time growing cow peas. Um, kind of just letting them do what they want to do. So doing good with the cow peas. This one I actually wrapped and it has gone over and wrapped onto my tomato cage. Tomatoes are still up here getting big. These are the Amish paste. Pepper plant growing in a pot. Got a few peppers on it. okra plants and the first okra plant cauliflower being eaten up it's been raining so I haven't been able to keep the uh, seven dust out here on them so provider beans Tender beans. That one's been eaten up, so I just throw that one away. Um, lemon squash. I've got one. Just hand pollinated that one. So hopefully. Get another one. They did not do too good. So I'm glad I've got one plant that's holding on. Well, I've got two. This one here is just starting. plants and the Lebanese squash corn here it is a uh, September 7th got some butternut squash cherry tomatoes in the pot And the Kalama beans. I think I might just end up pulling these up. Because they didn't do too good at all. So I do have a couple that are trying to hold on. Next bed. Which really looks like it's being overtaken. 
got the uh, Mayflower beans on this end. Got something. Rutabagas or turnips, one of them. In the middle. Now this is what was feasible for me staying in a, an apartment building, a trellis really wasn't, you know, uh, repurpose. Um, I wasn't going to be able to use a trellis again if I happened to um, move into another place. So this is what I rigged up. So it seems to be working. Got a few that are climbing straight up. So they've actually made a nice little rope here. And they have run out into my collard greens. So I'm going to have to uh, see about getting a clip out here on them so that they won't overtake the greens. Although I got enough weeds out here to help overtake the greens. Yeah. Weeds and grass. Then I got a couple of rutabagas that made it. Uh, so we'll see what happens with them. Some more pole beans seem to be doing really well and oh, good mother and those over there are the long Chinese beans so really excited about getting them and here we have our other collards Georgia Southern variety. So that's what's going on out here. Thanks for watching.